Hello everybody, this is Jason. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I post content related with WebRTC, JavaScript and Golang. If this interests you, please hit that subscribe button and stay updated. Okay, in this lesson, uh, we're going to continue with uh, what we did last. Okay, uh, we, we have started the Golang signaling server, okay, for our Flutter WebRTC project. Okay, now we're going to continue and try to finish this off. Um, yeah, either this ses session or tomorrow. Uh, it may, may take uh, more than one session to finish this. Uh, let's get started. Okay, let's go back to our code and um, we'll start up our IDE. Okay, I choose to use Golang. Okay, by the way, the source code uh, link will be down below. Okay, uh, it's a, this is based on the starter kit. So let's get started. Okay, this, to start off, we'll have to make some structs, okay? In um, other words, it's types, okay? Uh, if you come from another language, uh, for example, uh, TypeScript, okay? Uh, uh, we, we're going to do the types. So we're going to make a new file called user, okay? That's where we're going to use all the users um, struct, okay? That's where we're going to put everything. Uh, you notice on the package uh, as a main, so we can access it throughout all these files, okay? What the way we I'm writing this is really basic way, okay? It's not a, not the you know professional way of writing this. So if you're a GoLang expert, um, yes I know. Uh, it's not well. It's not been um, what do you call it? Uh, put it as a sub package. Um, but for for you know the beginners, I think this is an easier way you know for you to understand Go. Okay, then you can start you know getting into all the hard stuff like uh, you know like interface and all that. Okay, and you start putting files and in, in the subdirectories and so on okay enough talks okay what we're gonna do here firstly we need an ID of a user info okay so basically this is like a, uh, I choose to use map rather than um, a slice okay uh, a slice is the same as an array and a map is uh, pretty much same as a object okay that's what we are doing Okay, so we want the name of the person, okay, whoever connects them to our server. And this little bit here, it means uh, it's a lowercase, okay, when we use, uh, like, call it with a JSON um, request, okay, it needs to be a lowercase, okay, that's what this is, if you're wondering what that is. Okay, now we do another struct of user. Okay, and the user, we, we need to bring in the info. Okay, and we're going to use the user info um, struct we just made above. Okay, that's what this is. And also we need to put a uh, socket connection into this. Okay, that case it's a pointer. Uh, we need to grab this type from uh, the Gorilla loop sockets. Okay, that's what that is. You see what what we what I mean? Okay, when we get into that. And another thing we need is sessions. Okay. Uh, basically we're going to manage the sessions in the room okay um, let's write it first you'll be more clear when you actually see the thing happening okay the ID for the session I'll use we can okay I'll tell you the tr little uh, tip on that okay when you use a uh, uppercase that means you can uh, this is accessible from uh, outside of the package okay that's what the capital and the under uh, lower case means if you put it in a lower case it means you only can access it in within the package of main okay but for our purpose it doesn't really matter because we we're not really getting into you know the hard stuff that we have multiple packages in our code okay from user okay we need to grab this user from the info okay that's where it's from two this is for when we going to make uh, the app so we can use do a private call okay i think we're not going to show that in this tutorial because that's a totally you know different thing um which you can expand but i will include it you know all the ground works in it okay all right the next thing we need to do is we need to create another file for rooms okay it's a room management okay so what we mean room management is whenever someone connects to our web sockets okay we put all his detail into a map which is an object okay so we can keep a track who's who you know and who's on you know so on that's why we do that all right first of all we need to uh, make a room struct okay so another one type room 
truck okay if you haven't got experience with go i highly recommend you go and learn some basics before you come back to this because this won't make a lot of sense to you if you don't know the basic of go okay in session see here i use a lowercase um session because it doesn't matter because we only ever going to have one package in our tutorial so it's not important okay that we uh use uppercase so we can access it from outside of this package okay and the types for that is session and also we need to put an id here okay so we know who who is this person is okay in the room okay so we did that and now we need to do a, a new room uh, manager uh, and go we need to initialize it okay other words so we need to create a function i'm going to write this uh, by hand because this ID ID actually has a special function. I think you can do that in VS Code as well. That you can generate the uh, what do you call it? To generate the constructor. Okay, that's what we're talking about. So we just need to highlight all these, and here we go. We get this, you know, from the ID. I'm pretty sure VS Code does that. Okay, so we're going to do it by hand. Okay, basically what we do is we need to initialize this truck. Okay, when we run when we first run this program this is what this is so if you have done any higher uh, higher in uh, programming language this is a must okay <clears throat> all right uh, I will alter this uh, that save us a lot of typing actually we're gonna take all this take that out okay we just want the ID of the room okay and then down here uh, we need to re we're gonna write this slightly different so we're gonna take that out we go var room equals and sign in rooms okay and we're gonna go fill all okay that fills all the stuff for us okay we're gonna initialize a um, map okay by doing make map string okay and the type for this is user okay that's what we're gonna do uh, I'll explain to you in a second why we do this okay we do another one map string and this is session okay and the id we're just going to grab from uh, what we're passing in okay that's what we're doing uh, the reason why we do this uh, we need to return this whole thing which is room okay reason why we have to do this if we don't do the make like we initialize this object um soon as we do new room otherwise we cannot add any data into this user object I uh, hope that's not confusing. I hope I explained it properly. Um, so basically, we're initializing an empty object here. Okay, that's probably the easiest way to explain this. Okay, next, we're going to create another um, struct here type and we'll call this room manager. Okay, this guy is going to manage our, um, our stuff. What do you call it? Uh, not our stuff, our, our rooms. Okay, so we call this rooms. Again, we're gonna do a map, uh, which is means empty object, and we're gonna pointer the room. Okay, we just created up there. Okay, because see here, we need to new room, and before we can call this, we need to like initialize this part here as well, and that's what we're doing. Okay, we're gonna map this. Okay, and again, okay, we need to do this thing again. We need to generate a constructor okay and there's only one thing here okay. so how are we going to do this okay again we're going to delete all this auto completion stuff we don't need to pass any values in okay full start i'm going to get rid of that okay so you can write that again we're going to var room manager equals uh, room manager okay fill all oh sorry let's go back to this guy here okay we need to do the rooms which is here okay it is a map so again we need to initialize this by make map string okay and the type for that is room okay and now we return this room manager okay so we're done we need to call this new room from our main okay that will pretty much initialize the whole struck here basically we we initialize um this room manager and inside this room manager 
we have uh, this room map which is uh, this guy up here room so the user so this is, this needs to be initialized okay before we can start putting data inside otherwise it won't work okay that's the reason why we do this okay um what's next all right now we already so we're going to call this from our main dot go file so we get this uh, initialized the moment we kick up this um what do you call it this application okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to uh initial make a variable we'll call it room manager we're going to call our function we just made okay new room manager okay we're going to alter a little bit about this um, function here so we put it in the struct of the room manager so what we're going to do is we come back here into our server.go okay the reason why I don't do things at once I think you know with my learning experience it's easier you know for me to explain why we do these things so you as a you know like learn try to learn it will make it a lot easier for you okay we will make this call room manager manager and we want grab struck okay so basically we can access this function okay through room manager from the struct here okay now we go back here this since this has changed now so we call this room manager dot whip socket handler okay that's all we need to change uh so okay now this is pretty much done okay we have initialized this new function which is here okay we we initialize this struct the moment the program starts okay and then we will make the room okay which is uh let me have a look the struct is here okay we will initialize this in the same time so what we're going to do today, I think uh, we will do the join um, function, I mean the event for the socket and we'll finish the rest in the next tut uh, tutorial, otherwise this will turn out to be like a whole hour of video, uh, you're probably not too keen to watch, uh, you know, full hour, it's easier to we'll break it up. So what we're going to do today is um, like we create a room, okay, the moment when someone joins our web sockets, okay, uh, let's do that now. Okay, what we need to do is we need to prepare a couple of functions, okay, before we can um, get into the WebSocket stuff. So firstly, we will, let's hide this so we get more screen here, okay. What we're going to do here is we're going to make a function of, uh, couple, three functions, helper functions. One is get the room. So we need to, the moment we join, we need to check if this room assists, okay. If it doesn't, then we're going to create a room. And also we're going to make the third function is a delete room, okay. When someone leaves we will delete we will remove this room okay that's what we're going to do now okay so we'll make a function and remember we we want to put this into our um struct we made the room manager struct okay oops sorry a little bit off on our auto completion okay we call this function get room and we expect an ID so we can check if this room's assists in our struct or in our you know in our map I should say and we want to return the room if it does okay so firstly uh, not firstly really basic function this one so we just call it room manager dot rooms okay that's finding the rooms with the ID we pass in and that is this function done okay so basically when, whenever we call get rooms what it does is we pass in the id and i will look for this room id from this map okay that's what we do here okay and another one we're going to make the next one is the create room function okay so again room manager and we want that to be a pointer room manager okay this function we'll call it create room and we need to pass in the ID as well because we want to know uh, the struct needs to know what we want to call this room right so we need to put that in and we want to return the room as soon as we finish making this okay so room manager dot uh, rooms then we're going to put that ID in there equals new now we use our function okay new room and we pass that ID over okay so basically what we're saying here is we want this map 
um, to equals to whatever returns from the new room okay and the function here the struct will return this information and then we put it in to this object I hope I explained it properly uh, let me know in the comments if uh, if you're not unclear or join my slack um, channel and we can discuss this there okay and we want to return the rooms oops we want to return the room struct or room map i should say that's it okay and the last function with the last helper function we need to make is the delete okay when the user is gone we obviously got to clean them up don't we so that's what this does manager yeah. they want to be lowercase it's actually easier if we just use r but it doesn't matter if we already started like that and let's stick it with it okay so we'll call this delete room and we want to know which id we going to delete okay a string all right and we don't need to return anything i think with that so we go delete room manager again all right we go and look for this guy rooms and a comma okay and we want to look delete this room with this id that is it okay that's what we're doing this is totally all the functions we need to manage our array our object array whatever you, you prefer to call it it is an object okay okay now um let's do the join function oh, actually let's do that tomorrow let's cut it off now because otherwise this tutorial will go far too long okay so we leave it here we've got the foundation <coughs> of our uh, room management um, done okay basically we I'll explain this again I'm sorry if you don't want to hear this and then skip this but if you still not sure what we have done uh, I will explain it again okay so basically we start from our main okay as soon as the app starts okay I will call this function here okay this new room manager which is here okay then we we start preparing our uh, what do you call it uh, empty object into the rooms dot make which is the room struct up here okay we this is what we, we create an empty object here that's what we're doing here here with here <clears throat> then this struct available for us to put you know data into it and then that that's the starting of it okay and then down here we have created free uh, free helper functions that will help we, we will use in the next tutorial when we start uh, f finishing this uh, server okay basically this is get the rooms so we go and look for this id we pass in in our struct or in our object map object okay and this if it doesn't assist we can create a new object with this with the id that we pass in from our client side that was a mouthful isn't it okay and then the let room is when the user goes and we go into this um uh, array or sorry not array object map and find this id and remove them okay that's what we have done here okay and thanks for watching uh, that let's cut it off here and we will uh, finish the rest tomorrow uh, which is going to be um, all these events here uh, let me go into here okay remember we did all this okay we will finish that tomorrow the next tutorial all right thanks very much if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um uh, there will be many more of this type of tutorials uh, up, up and coming and consider sponsor me with uh, patreon okay there's a link uh, above all right thanks very much and we'll see you the next one